Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A senior citizen in Bellwood is out $6,000 after falling for a scam. Now she's sharing her story with Morning Insider Tim McNicholas to save others. There's eight target cards. Joanne Willard has a stack of gift cards, but nothing to celebrate. Today I feel stupid for doing it, but I went right along with it. Last month, she got an email from what appeared to be Amazon saying there was fraud on her account. She called the number in the email and they said they'd connect her with her bank. The supposed banker convinced her she'd lost thousands and to get it back, she'd have to buy multiple gift cards. So she did that. $6,000 worth at two different Jewel Osco's in Elmhurst. At first, I thought it sounded funny because I had heard about the scams and stuff. But once again, I kept looking at my phone and I kept saying it was the bank. Joanne and her daughter Jackie believe the scammers spoofed her bank's number, which was saved in her phone as TCF Bank. What Jackie can't figure out is why the real TCF didn't flag the unusual purchase from her debit card. If there, she goes to Jewel Osco and spends $3,000 on one side of town and then goes to the other side of the town and spends another $3,000, TCF Bank should have stopped that second $3,000 without a question. Jewel Osco posts signs near their gift cards warning people about gift card scams, saying you should never give away card numbers to someone over the phone. It was my fault. A lesson Joanne now knows all too well. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Now, Jewel thanked us for warning viewers, saying it takes these crimes very seriously, with signs at the checkout to warn customers and training for cashiers to help spot a scam in progress. TCF, too, acknowledged this is a big problem and explained why these purchases didn't raise any flags. The customer used a chip card, knew the pen, and was a regular shopper at the store. For more information to help protect yourself, go to CBSChicago.com.